What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fake Heel YouTube channel and today I'm going to be unboxing Superstar Series 3 Papa Shango and the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. I absolutely love this line. We do have Mankind Mint on card because I collect these Mint on card and loose. We've already opened The Undertaker so I'm just looking for another Mankind that I can open that's in not so great condition as the one I have is pretty mint and um, we'll be complete. We already have both Series 1 and Series 2 complete mint on card and loose. And we have a mint on card set, a Series 3, just looking for that mankind. But it's brought to you by my new book, The Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. And these are in there, believe it or not. Um, it features a foreword by Matt Cardona and photography by the AEW Jazzwares photographer, Matthew Goldberg. Keep track of what you have, want, and need over 500 pages paperback hardcover full color black and white you you name it we got it so hit that up and also if you're looking for good prices on figures definitely go to www.whatheel.com join whatnot and get $15 off your first purchase by using my link um grail pieces for steel prices I mean that's what I always tell people like you get great deals on there even when I do streams, sometimes people get gems for like nothing. It's it's insane. But we're going to get right into this. And I think we're going to open... Now, let's open Papa Shango first. These are both great figures. Um, so I love the carding on these, which is why I'm doing, I'm doing a mint on card and loose. The back is black and white, just like old AWA figures. It's got the real pictures of the superstars here. Undertaker, Papa Shango, a Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, and Mankind. And on the back, it also has like a drawing and it has like a uh, little phrase and stuff like voodoo curse, beware of Papa Shango. The spell has been put on you. Um, pretty cool. But let's open this up and take a look at everything. got a real cloth goods case which I think is incredible we've never gotten that with a um, Papa Shango I always take the name tags out and what I do I'll show you what I do if you're new to the channel I'll show you I um, I take the name because all everybody comes with a bag of hands and I tape the hands to the name tag so I know whose hands they belong to but I don't really change the hands on these unless it's something that's really particular to the figure. I haven't found a need to really change the hands. I think it's just a nice little extra thing to do, but I don't really think it's necessary. Uh, at least not for me or how I collect them. All right, so let's take a look at everything. So Papa Shango's face paint is a little bit different. Initially I said this was the best Papa Shango ever made. And I'm not taking that statement away. I just have a few things that I want to point out in the, in the midst of saying that. Um, so the way that they painted his face is like just the whole front of his face. It's not really shaped like a skull, which is the main issue that I have with the face paint. Like as you can see here, it goes like around in the con contours of the cheeks um, to make it look like a skull. This is just white face paint all over the, all over the face. He's missing his chest hat, which is a huge miss um, it's still a great figure. All the detailing is there on the tights, on the singlet top, the boots, everything looks great. Even the back has the deco. All the tattoos on the arms are super detailed when you look up close, which I love. The cape is huge though. This cape is incredible. It hooks around his arms so that it, it just stays in place. I love the detailing on it too. Looks like multi-fabric stitched together. Very, very cool. I know it's printed. I'm saying that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, just because, you know, everybody corrects me when I say things like that without understanding the context of why I'm saying them. Um, so somebody like this, I like to extend the legs out so he stands tall next to the Undertaker. But he's got his bone necklace, which I feel like is crucial. And then you have the voodoo hat. Now the voodoo hat, someone pointed out like the flower part is supposed to be at the base of the hat and it's not. That doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, somebody also said that he's missing his, his staff. That doesn't really bother me too much because we've gotten so many of them. 
um, well, not so many, but two of them since from his uh, other elites that you can throw in. And that's not really a crucial part of the character for me. The cape, I think, is crucial. So I think it's awesome that he got it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna say that this is still one of the best Papa Shango's. It's probably between this and the Elite. My biggest issue with the Elite is the body type. I don't think it matches the real Papa Shango's body type. This, he's Jack, he's menacing, he's uh, imposing, huge figure. I love the cuts in, in the cape. The cape really sells it for me. And I think the head is great. It's just painted a little bit differently um, than I think it should be. But, I mean, look at that. That's an excellent figure right there, dude. Awesome. It'd be cool if he had like the, the skull necklace to hold, but the bone necklace is great too. Maybe we'll get an elite with this uh, cape. And somebody asked me, you can just put the cape on an elite. Yes, you can. Um, just like you can just take the, you know, the staff that he has from the elite and put it on this. I just think as a presentation from the company without adding anything myself, I think this is really great representation and a beautifully done figure. So, Papa Shango. Next up, we have the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. I think it's funny that this is probably the only Ted DiBiase figure that doesn't say Ted DiBiase anywhere on it. And I find that very, very interesting. It just says Million Dollar Man everywhere. Million Dollar Man, Million Dollar Man, Million Dollar Man, all over. Um, but it's my favorite version of the Million Dollar Man, and that is Green Suit Ted. And um, very, very cool. On the back, it says, everybody's got a price. Everybody's going to pay. Million Dollar Man always gets his way. And there's the line art on it on the back. Very cool. Let's open this up. I'm excited about this one. This is probably going to be my favorite um, from the line. The whole line. And I'll tell you why. I mean, I kind of already told you why. I am a sucker for green suit, Million Dollar Man Teddy Biasi. And in here with the hands, he's got money, which I think is nice. So let's get the money out. Because you can't have the Million Dollar Man without money. He needs to have his millions of dollars, right? Man, how do you open this? They wrap this tape around so tight. So cool. Oh my God, this is so cool. Awesome. And it's different money than they've used before. It's fanned out, it's smaller scale. I mean, I love it. Love this line so much. I've said it multiple times. This is one of my favorite lines to collect now. And there's his hands, as I said. I just wrapped the name around it. The hands are on the back. All right, so. The shirt is attached to the pants. I wanna see, is there any deco on his, yep. Man, this figure is great. So you take off his his uh, entrance gear, and he's got the million dollar signs on the side of his trunks. I was wondering if they were even gonna do that because I was like, well, is it necessary for him to do that? I mean, you know, he's, he's probably gonna be displayed by most collectors in his green suit, which he will be for me. Are they gonna do it? And the answer is yes. Mattel did not let me down. And when you pull up his um, pants, he's got knee pads underneath and the million dollar sign on his boots. It's like a two figures in, it's a two for one uh, is the words I'm looking for. Which I, a lot of these figures are, we know that, but you know, it's still nice to see. Still nice to see. But who is going to display this Million Dollar Man Teddy Biasi 
out of the green suit. I mean, it's so toyetic to have the green suit and I'm putting it on backwards as I say that. The head is great. Uh, on the carding, they have this classic Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase picture where he's doing almost like the rock's eyebrow with his left eye, you know, putting that, that eyebrow high and he's, he's looking at you with pity. Um, and as a nice touch to the figure, they recreated that um, on the head scan. So he's doing this like cocky little look at you with, your, with his one left eyebrow up and it looks great. And the true effects printing on the beard, it looks so authentic and the hair sculpting, great head scan on Ted. I absolutely love this figure. This is easily, man, th these figures are so good, but this has gotta be my favorite one. It's just so good. Uh, and here's the money. We're gonna try and put it in his hand now. It's printed on both sides, which I think is cool. And we're gonna put it in his hand. Oh my God, how cool is this figure? I love this. This is easily my favorite figure in the whole line so far. Green suit, Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, or as they like to just call him, the Million Dollar Man, which I, I'm like, why is that? Is there some kind of, they don't want to use the word Ted DiBiase because of, you know, his name was in the news for that whole, whatever it was going on. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at all that green. He's got the money sign on the back, money sign on the lapels. I feel like this line, every series, it just gets better and better and better. Wow. Absolutely love this line. I can't say it enough. And that's me giving props to Mattel. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my new book, The Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs and WhatHeel.com to join WhatNot and get $15 off your first purchase. We will see you next time. Hopefully, it's to unbox the mankind um, as long as we find another one in store. So we'll see you soon. Take it easy, guys, and get the book. Peace. Want to turn your collection from this into this? then head over to Whatnot. Whatnot is a community marketplace with live stream auctions. See exactly what you're buying before you get it. Auctions starting at just $1. You can interact with sellers, celebrities, fans. It's safe and secure and has grail pieces for steel prices. So click the link in description below to join now and receive $10 towards your first purchase. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Check out my official sponsor, Whatnot, by clicking the link in description to join and save $10 on your first purchase.